to want it, to get it right then, you know, so I think it was well worth it. But total. It's the Tuesday after Labor Day. Cold start. Welcome back. Let's see how this thing do. I'm on pre-trip. I got a service coming up soon. Nice cold start. Let's get this day started, baby. Let's go. Yes, sir. We back. It's been a good little while since I picked up this. Since I picked up this camera. Hope all y'all had a good weekend. I have had a real busy one. But with how things are going in this economy right now, that's a blessing. This turning signal right here is not working. When I picked this container up yesterday, I checked it out. But we ain't gonna worry about it. You know how us container haulers do. Somebody must let their dog piss on my container tie. Man, looking good, looking good, looking good. Locked in. Almost full. So welcome back. Today on our agenda, we're gonna take this empty down here to Savannah and drop it on the yard and pick up an empty, pick up an empty chassis. I picked up this empty yesterday up out of McDonald from Kumo Tires. And the place that I'm delivering to, they have their own chassis so I can't just take any chassis in there hope everybody had a good Labor Day weekend I've been busy I've been nothing but busy this weekend I work Friday I work Saturday I work Sunday yesterday was Monday I worked yesterday but you know it's a blessing just to be able to stay busy in this economy right now I owe my son a beach day. We're supposed to went down to the beach and chilled out this weekend. But we didn't make it because daddy was working. And he understood, you know. But I want to make sure when we go, we have a real good time. Plus, I didn't want to leave no money on the table. But we're going to get on down here to good old Savannah, Georgia. Get on in this port. Get back up the road when I get off. I gotta go pick up some parts, it's time for a service. And let's go for a ride. Today, the drive is 
drop this container and pick up an empty. Pick up a, a, a chassis, not an empty, but an empty chassis. And I'm gonna take that in the port and get loaded with that. But it's a nightmare right here right now, this construction going on. Damn, that's loud. It almost get me. <laughs> Dark advantage. Oh, funny being behind a dark truck. I just did a load with dark this past weekend. Chassis 
shortage.
today is the real busy day. So, I was able to pull right up to the hand scanner and come on right on in the port. Now, we're gonna make this right, this left round, this left turn right here and point the camera at the scales. A lot of times, this be bagged up all the way back to the scanners. So you can just imagine if you just have a bad chassis on your back and you're waiting for one of these scales to clear, you're kind of mad. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. You're kind of mad, but luckily today isn't a bad day. I'm gonna choose a lane. I'm gonna try to choose two lanes. And we'll get on in. Who is it going to be? So number two is our lucky number, number two. And maybe they changed it because of the fact that everything's so slow right now. Yeah, maybe they changed because everything is so slow right now. I'm not sure, but either way, it can be a pain. Like I came out here Saturday, but Saturday, yeah, Saturday, and it was they only had one gate open on Saturday, so it took me probably about 45 minutes to an hour to get in here, but it was on Saturday, so I ain't tripping. this you don't have to stop at the um you don't have to stop at the interchange just find a open an open place to pull through because I'm not gonna lie to you I just stopped at the interchange I mean it's a habit I guess it's a habit I know it's a habit I pulled up got out walked back there as soon as I turned my head and looked and seen I didn't have a box on my back I shook my head like what you doing bro I hope I'm gonna be on bonehead truckers later on in the week. But today we're going over to 704. Yeah, 70, yeah, 704. Yesterday the seventh was deep. Man, I hope today it ain't deep. Nah, it's looking good now that the day. I can see it from a distance. Let's get on over to 704. Bam! We got our box. We're gonna get out this joint. We haven't been in here long. Some days, some days, some days. You never know what you're gonna get when you come up in here. Just got through the security shack. So basically we are out. I came out of gate eight. Um, I stayed in there all together. I stayed in there for 20, I stayed in there for 30 minutes on the dock. So that ain't bad. But we finna get on up here. I got a stop or two to make. And if I'm pushing time, I got a stop or two to make, but if we pushing time, I'ma stop in Dublin and pick up, um, stop by TNT or Dublin truck parts and pick up the stuff to service my truck with. So it just depends on how long it takes me down here doing what I doing what I got to do. But I know Truck Pro, I know I'm gonna get my stuff in Truck Pro and make it. I think they close at 4.30. Um, it's 12 something. I should have plenty of time if it don't take me too long over here at the at the mall, but I don't know, we'll see. But either way, let's get up this road and Enjoy the rest of our day. Let's go. Okay, so we're coming up on the 51 right here in Dublin. I was going to go to 
um, truck crew and making to get my oil filter, air filter, fuel filter. But I just decided to come right here in Dublin to go to TNT Parts. If you're ever in the Dublin, Georgia area and you need truck parts, you have TNT truck parts and you have Dublin truck parts. And Dublin truck parts is really an authorized freight line of dealer. But since it's so close to Macon and it's a freight liner right there in Macon, they couldn't name it freight liner, so they had to name it, they had to name it Dublin truck parts. Well they didn't have to name it Dublin truck parts. They just couldn't attach the freight liner name to it since it's a freight liner dealership that's only 50 some miles away from here. But but they got they got really they got some really pretty some pretty good parts. That is at the 50 the 54. If you're going towards Savannah and you get off at the 54 and you make a left hand turn, go down probably about two miles, two, three miles, doubling truck parts is down there. But I'm going to TNT Parts, which is on the 441 bypass right here in, in Dublin, right off the 441 bypass. So let's get on up here and get these filters for our upcoming service that we got to perform on this baby. And here we are. TNT Parts is right across the street from the YKK, if anybody ever need to come over here and get a part, if you want I-16 in between Macon and Savannah. The guy, my, my mechanic, the guy who rebuilt my engine, he do, he do a lot, he get a lot of parts from over here in, T, in Dublin. Between TNT and Dublin truck parts, he get a lot of parts from over here. He put me on actually. Of course I use Truck Pro when I'm in Macon because it's closer. But when I was coming up the road a while ago, I guess I'm kinda on a, I guess you can say I am on a time crunch to get back to, to get the Truck Pro on time before they close in Macon. And you know, I just thought about, hey man, we'll just stop in Dublin at, the, at TNT and get the field. Instead of trying to rush back to Macon and having to go through that I 16 75 interchange, like man, just stop right here and get your parts. And I'm, go I'm going to go to Walmart to get some, to get my oil this time. I'm swapping up from the T5 to the Dell Bank. But I just normally pull over here on the side. Okay, so we're going to end the video right there because I want to come home and compare some of the prices um, of Amazon compared to what I just paid out at TNT. The um, name of the game right now in trucking is try to save as much money as you can. You know, we ain't making that much, so you got to try to save some. So, tell you what, this is what I came up with for my oil filter. For two of them was $34.18. On the internet, I found two of them for $31.99. That's a saving of $2. The fuel filter, $13.07 is what I paid down there in Dublin at TNT. On the internet, I found it for $14.35 for two of them. Um, that is actually an increase of about a dollar and twenty some cent, twenty eight cent. Matter of fact, um, the air filter I paid seventy down there at TNT. I found it on the internet for fifty four eighty nine. That is a savings of sixteen dollars. Um, so it's about an eighteen dollar 
I probably could have saved about 18 bucks off the off Amazon. I went on Walmart and eBay as well, trying to find it. I didn't try to go on other websites and find it. I just went straight to, you know, a common site basically, you know. So it wouldn't have been much of a difference from going to TNT and ordering off Amazon. Now over here, I bought my oil and I bought my grease from Walmart. And I went with Delvac this time because it's hard trying to find T5 in my area. Um, I'm looking at it on the internet and it's definitely much higher than Delvac, but I also was reading some reviews on, I'm in a Facebook group, um, Detroit 60 series group. And I've been seeing a lot of good stuff about Delvac. Um, so I said, I'm gonna try it out this time. And Rotella, like I said, it's, it's kind of hard to find in my area. I was going in the store buying, walking out with nine to 10 gallons of oil in a cart, you know, and I just, I got tired of, it, you know, and I seen them talking about Delvac. So I said, hey, I'm gonna try Delvac, you know. Um, I just did the service actually today. That video come out later on in the week. Um, I normally run Lucas. I didn't add, I forgot to get my Lucas. But anyway, back to the Delvac. I paid thirty four seventy eight for four two point five gallon jug seven. Um, I seen I could have saved money by buying it um, in a five gallon bucket. The five gallon bucket what? is was 64 i think it's 64 um that's five gallons and basically two of these add up to 70 dollars so i would say six i would say three dollars nope how long i would say six dollars for five gallons so basically i would say twelve dollars so not a biggie um we're gonna see how the Delvac go this time. Um, I'm just doing a simple service, no differentials, no transmission change, you know, make sure that my hubs are filled in the front, you know, um, a simple, a very simple service, you know. Um, but the whole total, oh, I forgot about the grease. I spent 748, basically 750 on two tubes of Lucas grease um that's 15 bucks i found two of them or a two pack on the internet for ten dollars and 38 cents so that's another i could have saved five dollars um on amazon with that so not a huge savings not not even not even 40 not even 40 bucks um and you know i want it right then you know so sometimes you got to pay to want to get it right then, you know, so I think it was well worth it. But total, I paid 307 for everything, plus my label, my sweat. <laughs> Today, it was hot out there. Y'all gonna see that video. My grease gun, <laughs> I figured out why my grease gun was acting up um, after I threw it away. <laughs> but that grease gun pissed me off. Y'all see that later on in the week. But I gotta get me another grease gun. This time I'm gonna go with a um I'm gonna go with a better one. I already I already seen one. I was gonna go with the electric one, but shit, I'm bitch I mean I don't, them things were hitting easily 170, 180, and they were coming out Granger. You know, I order a lot of stuff out Granger. I got a business account with them, so um that's basically it, you know. 307 for a service. I don't know what TA charge or any of them charge. I haven't been in one of those in a long time, so I don't know, name of the game is trying to keep as much in your pocket as possible. But I'm finna get back to watching football. I was just in here um, editing a video and looking over a couple of notes and stuff. And I just wanted to make that. We're finna watch Texas put some on Alabama. But I appreciate y'all for watching. Make sure y'all like this video, comment, so strive and start by picking up this camera again. We finna got some big some some I haven't I haven't put a lot of stuff out there in the air what I'm doing right now, but um 
some changes have occurred. I'm no longer at Penske. But anyways, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next one.